Hello guys, my name is Rose River and I come from Finland. I've been a full-time streamer for six soon to be seven years. I got partnered in 2015 and since then I've been playing video games for a living. I've been a gamer for way longer though, but yeah. Um, what I'm doing right now in Finland is I'm working on an education system for streamers as well as spread the awareness or knowledge about gaming industry overall for companies plus everyone while i'm doing this research and creating this education system i want to make a series of episodes that might help you as well if you're looking into starting to stream or you're already a streamer that wants some tips or tricks how to grow basically last year things changed a lot uh, throughout covid the views have gone massively up in on the platform and i read somewhere that there was over 9.3 million active streamers in april 2021 on twitch and that number just tells a lot and i think this these episodes are more needed than ever so basically every episode will be short really information rich and i will make it as easy as possible for you to take notes from. I have created five episodes to start with, and then we will go more into details of every topic. So today's video will be about how to get started, a video I would have wanted to see seven years ago when I started. So yeah, let's get the first video started. Okay, so first topic is going to be what do we actually start with when we start streaming? The first thing is you're creating a Twitch account. A short note about nickname. Uh, I did a mistake in my beginning. Um, I played only Dota when I started and I always played with Phantom Assassin. She was like my bait. And yeah, my name was Phantom. I don't even remember, but I remember it was Phantom something when I started. And uh, I change it really fast, thank god. But I'm telling you, don't make a name under one specific game or a really long name. Think about the future. Think about this name being your brand as well. Like for the coming, uh, maybe in, in merches, everything visually beautiful. I know it is impossible to find names that are... Um, available which is why you need to really use your like imagination something that maybe your friends called you when you were younger your mom your dad or or i don't know like i created from a movie the last name but yeah use your imagination and don't put it under one one only game okay so now we have this amazing nickname that we absolutely love we are logged into twitch we need to think uh what are we logged in what are we using uh what is our hardware hardware is a difficult thing i think a lot of people are overdoing it too fast do not overdo it do not invest massive amount of money do not compare yourself to your favorite streamers and see yo i need this you don't really need it i started with laptop built in camera and i started fine everything was working as long as you have internet uh i played dota you can play like lightweight games like league minecraft uh marbles on stream there are options be it like just chatting think what you need but if you're like a triple a title you like those games it's like cod battlefield or may way more uh demanding on your hardware i improved my hardware with me growing my community so basically we had goals together for months that we collected all the donations we invested the earnings into improving uh, the hardware and the equipment around bikes everything but yeah uh start with with little uh, headsets have good built-in microphones now compared to seven years that has massively increased do not think you need to be and have the best equipment ever you don't so start little you might not even love streaming you might not even like it you might stop so all of that was for nothing so start 
little and grow and it's a it's a perfect way of growing with your community i'm telling you even with the finest community like when you're saying like you have goals you want to reach even if it would be like six month goal it's something that people are really or at least i feel like i i i see a donation goal of of like let's buy a new microphone i feel like those are the goals that are like it's going to improve the stream anyway so people are more likely to support that but yeah this is the hardware <laughs> okay so now we have a amazing big name that we love and also a hardware what do we need to actually go live is a broadcasting software i have somewhat experience of softwares now since seven years i'm telling you going live seven years ago was like rocket science that was some complicated things like complicated just to have the newest version of obs with the right like with windows up like updates and everything messed up everything and the scenes and alerts and everything that you have to put on top of each other like it was interesting and i'm like yo starting streaming with this pre-made softwares that you just clickily click live so i'm starting to talk i will take three different levels of difficulty or user friendly so the most user friendly software out there is obviously twitch studio made by twitch uh really user friendly is basically click click and you're live this is something i haven't personally used myself but i got confirmation that this is the easiest software second is streamlabs obs this is a customized version of obs that includes a lot of third-party plugins uh, this requires a bit more setup however it includes a lot of extra functions already baked in to the software so i would say this is definitely something that you can even you have no experience at all from software this is really easy to get a grip on uh, third option is what I'm using currently is OBS itself. The classic, this is the classic version of OBS. It gets regular updates and it offers the latest features. However, it might be hard to use it in the beginning as it requires a bit more knowledge uh, and you would have to install third party plugins to certain functions. But I would say, like, I have personally used Stream Labs OBS and i would maybe start with that if you have absolutely zero experience on software whatsoever or with twitch uh, studio and then i would work my way up to obs in the future but yeah this is also like something you have to kind of measure how you as as a person do you like just want to click click your way or do you really want to go into optimizing your settings and everything from the scratch then if you have that type of mentality or personality, I would highly suggest jump into OBS instantly. Okay, so now we have tackled how to start. What do you absolutely need to, to get your channel live? Get your games live, get your whatever it is that you want to stream. Yeah, this is the first episode now. Next episode, we'll tackle the topic of growth how to start how to get those first views this is something i would say subscribe leave a comment but i don't want to instead of that i want you guys if there is questions you ask a lot of questions through insta dms and uh, i am suggesting you you can do that as well i am active in instagram dms and i go through questions that are about streaming a lot but i am creating this um chat or channel into my discord channel um there will be an open chat for my community my community is amazing guys like there are some really op smart people in there in my community and they're overall really helping um a really nice community like if you have any questions put it in uh go to my discord channel first of all join there uh there will be a channel called youtube slash stream helpline or help chat and i will every single day go through this channel if there has been questions you can also dm me but throughout i feel like the the, the questions have been repeated a lot so join my discord and we can tackle questions together and i would love to have like conversation and 
you know see what you are really interested in you can also leave a comment on youtube obviously i will love to answer you there as well but some people don't feel like they want to ask publicly stuff so they slide into dms so that is fine as well i will be really active on answering your questions but yeah thank you for watching this video and i really hope this was helpful it was really helpful for me to get this started and uh, yeah get this first section of how to become a streamer out uh yeah see you next week guys